Why do I care about Halliburton after the mess that BP confronted? Halliburton, which was the uh, concrete contractor in the uh, well that blew up uh, in 2010, uh, killing 11 people, creating a huge environmental mess. Uh, Halliburton has uh, pled guilty to what sounds like a relatively minor infraction, destroying a computer document in the, in the wake uh, of the spill. The reason this is so significant is that Halliburton uh, and BP are still fighting uh, over civil allegations in federal court as to who is, if anyone, is grossly negligent, and billions of dollars turn on that question. And this evidence, that this, this confession by Halliburton right. that it was destroying a key piece of evidence is going to be a huge help to, to BP, and this could literally be worth billions of dollars to BP. We associate Halliburton with former Vice President Cheney. I'm going to assume he's removed from this debate. He That's is. ancient history. But the, the state of Halliburton today, are they being sued like BP is being sued? Yes. By the people of Louisiana? The they're, they're being sued by everybody, but critically they're being sued by the federal government. The, the main, main uh, uh, arena right now is in federal court in New Orleans where the Justice Department is seeking billions of dollars in civil environmental penalties, uh, both from Halliburton and from BP, and we've got a finger-pointing exercise where the companies are trying to push the liability onto right. each other. To the drama of Steve Cohen, and we sort of know where those funds will come from, from the people of SAC Capital, if they're sued for quote-unquote billions, where does that money co go come from? Insurance companies? Or does it come from the actual companies? No, I don't think insurance is going to be paying a lot of this because most uh, in, of, the, of the relevant insurance policies would exclude uh, liability mm -hmm. having to do with fraudulent activity. You can be sure those insurance companies are already lawyered up and prepared to, to uh, push back against I like that claims. phrase, lawyered, lawyered up. up. Yep, that's Very what you good. do. You, you get lawyered up in you a get... case like this. I'm glad, you, I'm glad Tom actually made the parallel connection between SAC and BP because it is very rare for to be criminally charged as a company. But as I understand it, right. BP faced that criminal charges and pled guilty. That, to some that's absolutely right. And it's a really interesting uh, contrast because it, it shows you the difference between a company that has been indicted um, because uh, criminality is allegedly pervasive throughout the company. That's the SAC case versus BP, which is a, an incident. Yeah, a, a global industrial company that clearly is involved mm -hmm. with a lot of very constructive activity all around uh, the world. And then there's a disaster and the question is, is whether, whether they violated some laws in connection with that particular disaster. And just another example to bring it in is Arthur Anderson from Enron, which didn't fare so well after the It was wiped out. Yeah. Yeah. It was wiped out. And, and many people have criticized the, the Arthur Anderson indictment for that reason because yes. 27,000 people lost their jobs. But what people tend to forget in, in the, the mists of history is that our Arthur Anderson was a recidivist. Arthur Anderson had been in trouble because of its audits with a whole series of right. companies before Enron, chiefly with, with Wade management and Arthur Anderson had promised the government over and over again right. we're going to clean up and, and, and that's a big reason why Arthur Anderson went down.